Hey guys, Hand Avatar here again today. And today what we are going to attempt is a new challenge that I've actually come up with. I don't know if anyone's done this. I'm pretty sure it's new. I didn't see it anywhere. Uh, basically the challenge is I'm going to be doing 1v1 strikeout. I'm going to start with my least experienced kind of like character out of the, the list I have here, which is actually Thatch. Um, then to my second best, which is Zul. And then to Mordex. And basically what happens is I'm going to do 1v1 strike out until I've died once on every character. Alright, so I could I could completely die the first game. Could be a really short video. Um, but I could, let's say, win the first game and have only died once. Let's just say with Thatch, because, you know, he's my first character. That means from then on I can only play with Zul and Mordex. I have to die once before I actually start the game each time. So I want to see how many games I can win if more than one. Uh, with a full loadout of 1v1 strike out with only one life per character. So we're going to start it up. We could go really badly or uh, we could actually do pretty well. We're going to see. Um, also, this is my first game um, in about a week of uh, Brawlhalla. So I've got to kind of like warm up a little bit. Uh, get used to it again. All right, we're versing Azoth. Azoth, Linfei and Mordex. So it really depends how good this guy is. Don't be fooled if they don't have like a border or any fancy stuff because you can turn it off. Okay, so this guy is not that good, I don't think. Yeah, okay, this guy is pretty bad. It looks like we're going to get a win straight off the bat. <laughs> Hopefully, I don't really want to say that and then lose it. That could be a little bit... <laughs> that could be a little bit embarrassing. But... This is really good because now we get to actually warm up. Okay. I don't actually use guns, but this guy isn't too good, so I don't mind. We can, we can do whatever we like. Let's actually warm up a little bit of unarmed. We'll try and unarm him in this, uh, this life here. Oh, okay. He's got a cannon now, so I do have to be careful. Okay. Oh dear, I do have to be careful. <laughs> if he just absolutely owns me now, that's gonna... It's gonna be pretty bad. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to catch him off the edge. So that I can, like, send him down. But he's... He's doing something that a lot of new players... I'm just assuming he's new, a new player, but a lot of new players, they don't do this. They don't alternate their jumps. They always jump a certain direction to get back up and everything. This guy's dropping sometimes. This guy's changing it all up. So, he's doing pretty well. I also just realized we can't actually lose our life because we only have one of each life, so... Yes! <laughs> I was going to say, I should probably be trying to play it safe so I don't lose one of them. Oh, let's say GG. Alright, on to the next one. We still have all three lives with all three characters. I'm going to mainly be using uh, Sword, I think, and Unarmed. Like, I prefer Unarmed to Gun. I just... I don't use gun. <laughs> to be fair, I don't use sword either, but... I used to have Thatch as one of my mains. If you look at, like, the really early Brawlhalla videos, we did, like, the same day as we got the game. Um, or same week, I should say. I played as Thatch, like, almost all the time. Okay, coming up, Ajala. Okay, I didn't see his other two lives. I was a little distracted. But... We got a Ajala... Oh, okay, so that one that one sends it up. Okay. Okay, we gotta <laughs> We gotta get rid of those guns. Guns are just a no-no for us, basically. Guns are just gonna get us killed. Okay, he is six spamming, which means he's not that skilled a player, hopefully. Yeah, because he's not really confident in doing normal hits so much. So we can kinda we can work with that. Ah, he's a little bit too high. He died anyway, but it's a little bit too high. Oh, okay, so he's got a thatch too. It's the, the pirate face-off. <laughs> but, um... Gotta be careful here. I can't remember what I was about to say. <laughs> I, was, I was about to say something and I just had like a full-on mind blank. Oh, yeah. Um, don't be fooled with these uh, these 1v1 strikeouts because usually it's not the best players. The best players tend to hang out in... Uh, in 1v1 experimental um, because they don't want to like lose their rank and stuff but you do get quite a few diamond players and whatnot which is the highest rank in um, strikeout you just have to 
You have to be lucky, I guess. There's, a lot, there's less diamond players than there are other players, I should say. In the one on strike out. There we go! <laughs> you need disconnected at the end. So we have two games under our belt. And we have not lost a single life yet. We are doing really well. We're doing actually pretty darn well. I'm just waiting for um, us to come up against someone with colored like borders on their name and like the different profile pictures and they've spent money on costumes and stuff and I'm just waiting to get destroyed. <laughs> oh, okay. This guy has extra attack for every single character, which means each character is at least, I think, I think for extra attack, I think it's like level 11 or something. So this guy's going to be pretty good. Yep. He's already dashing about. Okay, so I'm going to have to play it a little bit safe here. Because I, I do not want to lose lives if I can help it. I'm trying to get as much damage. Usually people put their best strike out character first. So I'm trying to get it over as soon as I can. Get rid of this uh, Wu Shang. And Wu Shang is a main character for a lot of people. Oh, we almost died there. I'm going to try and bait him. Okay, get down there. If he goes out to the wall, I can get him. Okay, he's dead. Okay, so this guy's good, but he's not amazing. Like, I don't want to be offensive or anything like that, but... He, he's got the right idea, but he's horrible with his edge guard. And with his off-the-edge off playing and stuff. Because I can... If I, if I hit, I can punish almost all of his moves. Alright, I'm not going full, like, try hard just yet and stuff. I'm kind of just testing out some moves. Um, you'll, you'll see the gameplay will just, like, pick up a lot when we come up against a uh, much higher level person. How did that not hit now? <laughs> What's going on there? Oh, no, I'm gonna die. Oh, dear. <laughs> okay, get down there. There we go. See? Because he's really predict predictable. Like, the guy that we first versed, that was um, alternating his jumps and everything like that, um, is just overall a better play than this guy, just because he's not predictable. If you're predictable on Brawlhalla, if you can get red, then you've already lost, kind of thing. Alright, come on. He's just spamming. Okay, I'm gonna spam if you're gonna spam. And he's gone. Alright, we still have all three lives. Now, we're on deep red. If he hit us with, like, one decent side sig, or any sig, actually, in fact, we probably would have gone. <laughs> Lost our thatch, but... Somehow we're still going. I don't know how. I kind of don't want us to go too long just because I have other things I gotta record today and not too much time. I wasn't expecting it to be too many rounds. Is that the same guy? I, I didn't I didn't see the name last time. It looks like it's the same guy. So let's let's try and make short work of him. Let's try and pick up the pace a little bit. I say as I get punched in the face several times. <laughs> Ah, he's almost gone. Ow! <laughs> okay, I'm just running into a lot of these six. I gotta just take it slow and finish him. Right there. Okay. Again, I haven't played with that for a long time. I just know his moves a lot better with sword and everything. Yeah. Okay. So as <laughs> the game gone because he's he's kind of given up now. So. Let me just go like this. Uh, GG, man. GG. I think he's got a YouTube channel too, so make sure you show him some love. What is it? Stealthy Wolf underscore YT. I think I've run into that guy before. That um, that name sounds pretty familiar. So let's go GG. Let's search again. Alright, so technically we've got four wins, I think, already. I mean, I'm, I'm going to count them as wins just because, like, our impression from the previous game has made them leave. If they do it straight off the bat and they're, like, a new person, then that's probably not going to be counted as a win. Unless we've killed them already, like, twice and they just give up kind of thing. Alright, so... 
Um, if it takes too long to search, just generally, you'll probably see a jump cut. So just prepare yourself for that, um, if that's the case. Alrighty, so the match didn't search for quite a while. I waited around like 5-10 minutes. So we are going to actually cut it there. We're going to have part 1. And I don't think we lost any lives. So it's actually could be a series that goes on for a while. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you all next time. See ya!